Good morning everybody. I am Sachin R. Gengze, Professor and Head, Department of Electronics Engineering at Walchan Institute of Technology, Shonapur. In this series of lecture, we are discussing about organization and information system. Today, this is third part of this series in which we are going to discuss about how information system has an economic impact on the organizations. The learning outcome of this session include, so after completing this session, the student will be able to explain how organizations and information system influence each other, especially how information system has an economic impact on the different types of organizations. Let us revise what is an organization. We have already defined an organization as a stable, formal social structure that takes input resources from the environment, which is nothing but the society, and then process these input to produce the output, which may be in terms of product or which may be in terms of services being offered. Then what is an information system? Information system, uh, when we talk about information system, we are talking about a digital information system. So the information system collect, process, store, analyze and distribute the data or information for a specific purpose or application. And when we say a digital information system, it necessarily uses computer and digital technology for performing these tasks. The devices which are being used are computer and the digital devices like your mobile phones. Uh, in fact, a big information system may consist of small information subsystem which are designed for a particular subtask or particular sub application and all these components of this information system, they are connected and communicating with each other through the wire or wireless network. So that is what is defined as an information system. So again, a, a very simple diagram can be shown for the information system. So it collects the input, which is nothing in terms of data and instruction, then process this uh, input, uh, may be stored for later application, later use or may be consumed immediately to produce the output. The output may be some calculation, some report, some suggestion. That is what we are calling as an information system. Now, we have also discussed that the organization and information system, the relationship between them is a very complex and uh, we may tempted to think that the organization, they influence the information systems or information technology, but the relationship is both ways. The organization also no doubt influence information systems or information technology, but the IT and ICIS, they also influence organization and make them to adopt the new processes which are emerging because of the information systems and information technology. Now, when we are talking about the impact of the information system on organization and business firm, so this information system nowadays have become uh, integral uh, interactive part of the business organization and they are being used for minute to minute operation for daily processes as well as they are being used for decision making in a large organization. An organization has to take so many decisions and this information systems are helping the organization in taking the decision. Over the last couple of decades, information system has caused two major impact on the organization and business firm. So when we are talking about especially the commercial organization and business firm, we say that there are the impact of the information system can be categorized into two. First, the economic impact, which is going to be very important and what we are discussing today. And then the second type of impact is the organizational and behavioral impact. How as an organization that uh, business firm is getting changed because of the implementation of information systems. Now, let us pause here and uh, uh, give a time to make a thinking on how information system impact on the business firm. Um, when a particular business firm is 
implementing the information system whether it will be a positive impact or whether it's a negative impact especially what will happen to the revenue of the business firm so when we are implementing information system what will happen to the profit or the revenue of that particular business firm so please pause yourself for a couple of minutes and think over this and then try to justify your answer uh, using some examples Now let us go ahead and understand what is the impact, economical impact of information system on a typical business organization. The first impact is related to the capital and labor. The information system or IT changes the cost of capital and cost of information, right? And more and more information systems are being implemented in a business firm. They are substituting for the labor. And we know that the cost of the labor, the wages one has to pay to the labor, labor here simply means the employee, uh, it is always increasing. So the information systems are now, uh, are uh, now one can thought as a, a replacement for the uh, replacement for the labor, uh, which is always having a higher cost. The information systems can also be thought of as the substitute for other forms of capital like a building and machinery, which remain relatively very expensive. Nowadays, we are witnessing because of the COVID pandemic, uh, many of the employees, they are working from home and that saves a lot of on the capital and labor expenses of a business firm. The second economical impact is on the transaction cost. The IT or information system that reduces transaction cost, the, these are the costs uh, which are borne by the uh, firm uh, when they buy in the marketplace. The, rather it is kind of outsourcing uh, which cannot be made or which cannot be produced by that particular company. Because of this information system, the firms are now having the lower cost on market participation which we are calling as a transaction cost and worthwhile to form firms to contact with their external supplier so those companies which are supplying or outsourcing something to the firms uh, these suppliers now can be uh, contacted now can be communicated using information system and then these transaction cost or networking cost are saved on a lot by use of the information system as a result firm can shrink in size so the number of employees required uh, are becoming less uh, as many of the services and many of the small product can be outsourced uh, at a competitive marketplace rather than uh, hiring the employee to produce them and because of that a lot of saving on the economic side is happening with the business firm the third economical impact is on the internal management cost information systems they are reducing the cost of acquiring and analyzing the information so already a lot of data is being collected by the firms and then when it is being analyzed it can be converted into the information which can be used for the betterment of the business and this permits organization to reduce agency cost because it becomes easier for managers to oversee a greater number of employees because of this information system that cost is also coming down information system also enables firms to increase revenue while shrinking the number of middle managers and the clerical workers as the information and data is flowing freely because of the implementation of information systems and information technology infrastructure the number of middle managers which are required in a typical firm uh, they are reducing also now these clerical works worker which we are previously calling are now being replaced by the data worker and then because of that also there is a lot of saving right so if we talk about the overall economical impact we can conclude that because of the information system or information technology it reduces both agency and transaction cost for a business firm we should also expect that the firm size is getting shrink uh, over time because of the capital is invested into information system and more and more people are now getting replaced by the information system then the firm should have fewer managers and we expect to see revenue per employee is increasing over time so usually uh, the revenue per employee is being calculated how much 
revenue is earned, how much of profit is earned uh, because of the employee and then because of the use of the information system as the number of employees are reducing and as the profit is increasing, so that revenue per employee is also increasing. So this is, uh, this, this is a picture one can uh, talk about uh, as far as that's how information technology or information system flattens the organization. As you can see, the middle managers are now being replaced or uh, they, are, they are being shrunk because of the use of the information system. So with that, we come to the end of this uh, session in which we have discussed about the economical impact of information system on a typical business firm. So this is a reference uh, and thank you very much and see you for the next lecture. Thank you once again.